Hey guys, welcome back to another exciting video. Today is the weekly top five, and today we are checking out, of course, the top five. And we're starting off with the Sky Harvest Salvage Airship by Pullnet. Pullnet, yes, that's his name. Let's check it out. So this is the Talavan Aerospace Sky Harvest, and it is a VTOL salvage vessel capable of traveling up to 600 kilometers without refueling and designed to lift sunken ships or transport heavy cargo quickly and efficiently, capable of landing and taking off from both land and water. Okay, well, look at that! We've got a submarine over there, and that should not be on the land. So what we're going to do is try to use this device without any instructions, because there are no instructions before anybody yells at me. So I'm going to have to figure out how to do that. Elevator call. Oh, what's that do? Oh, wow. That's kind of cool. Oh, it's got a little bell. Okay, I'm going to go up. I'm too lazy to do stuff. Well, look at that. My bedroom. Oh, that's that's pretty cool. That's cool. Okay. Uh, we'll walk over here. That looks like our driving seat. Oh, I like the design of this. This is really neat. Uh, okay. We've got a hinge door. Okay. I don't know why that's stuck open. That's odd. But I want that because I hurt myself. At the beginning. Okay, uh, bridge. Yeah, that's cool. What about... Like, how do I do... The... The stuff. You know what I'm talking about? The stuff? Okay, that's the elevator. Let's go back down here. Yes, this stuff. Rig up, rig down. What's this do? Okay. All right. That's cool. What is this one? I don't know what that does. 12 down. I don't know what that does. 21 up, 22 down. I don't understand what that is. Hmm. Rig release. feel like I'm missing something. I don't want to push this, but I'm going to push it. Oh. Okay. 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 Do I want to put the sub underneath this, don't I? Okay, let's see what this... Does this 12 o'clock do anything? Oh. Oh. Okay, I see. I, oh. I should not have touched these, I do not think. Okay, well, let's jump down here. Well, let's put it down. Okay, so if I use these... Ouch. Stop bouncing. Okay, so it has... Hmm. It has these, right? Wenches. But I don't see... Maybe I'm wrong. I don't see any extra ropes. No, yeah, I don't see any extra ropes. I feel like I need extra ropes, right? Because this is gonna just pull up the sub, and I need ex. I need extra ropes. There's no. Extra How do you not have extra ropes here? Why would you? Am I blind? Seems like a requirement, man. Just saying. Not that I could build one of these, but yeah, we're gonna spawn extra ropes. All right, so I just spawned this 1964 Chevy. I don't know who this is by, but we're going to have to look it up, and I'll leave the link in the description. But we're going to take this because I added a bunch of rope back there. So we got plenty of rope. We're just going to go drive over there with all our rope, and then we'll see if we can... Well, maybe we should actually try to start it, then fly over above the sub, then connect the ropes. No, maybe we want to connect the ropes first. I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing. That's why I don't have this job. Okay, uh, let's see. Jeez. Okay, there we go. We got the rope. Okay, so there is a thingamabob. And there is a thingamabob over there. So all we need to do is be lazy and call the elevator. Because I'm not climbing stairs. Because this is cool. Okay. Do, 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 do. Oh, I don't want to go off the bed there. I'm going to go here. Come down here. All right, I got this now. Okay, so release this. Aha! Uh -huh. Boy, it bounces a lot. Um, okay, now we want to do rig down. Ooh, it bounces a lot. I think it needs to be slower. Okay, let's see that. Okay, why well, get hurt if I jump down? Is that how I got hurt last time? Oh, good, I did. Okay, so we can't. I don't think we can just do that, right? 
and then connect it like right there and then go get another rope come down here connect right there right there that way we got that rope ready to go come over here connect that rope to I don't know right here and one more okay so this should give us enough rope to hang ourselves with I mean to hang the submarine with yes that's what I meant okay so uh, let's see here that seems good now we'll go back up and we'll start the engines hopefully and fly right over that submarine because you know how hard can it be oh such a nice bell hopefully this is stupid uh, friendly so we shall see all right does this look stupid friendly I don't know vessel diagnostics fuel leap maneuver activate engines that seems stupid friendly even put the throttle for me okay cool lights yeah okay wait what does that do is that the right thing to touch correction why is that moving should I push this Okay, 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 wait. Let's do this back to zero. Oh! Okay. That's not good. Um. <laughs> no! Let's go back down. Am I going up or down? Oh, look! It's Captain's Mail! Okay. Greetings, thank you for your purchase of this. Okay, we have compiled a short thing. Okay. Get comfortable. Okay. Uh, increase the thrust with the lever on the right to a value to 0.28. Okay, 0.28. Got it? Okay. Uh, this value is optional. Oh, optimal. Not optional. Optimal for unload flying and for full tanks. So keep that in mind. Okay. Getting started. After reaching pressure of 7 AK. I'm sure we've done that already. Uh, look at this plate on the right. Let's play on the right. That's the pressure. Whatever. Okay. Uh, when you reach the desired altitude. Oh. Wait, what? Okay. Pull the lever on the or left up. Okay. Am I going down yet? Oh, no. We're not going down. Okay. We're going to go down. Huh? Huh? That's it? Oh, yeah! We are going down. And the more I push it, the more I go down, right? Yeah. Okay, this is good. Easy. Look, there's exhaust going upwards. Um, okay. Yeah, well, we don't need more tips. We got this. Okay. Looking out the window. Everything looks good. Looking at the ship. Everything looks amazing. Okay, I have not turned left, right, or anything else. So we should just go straight down where we started. So this is pretty, pretty nice. I really like this. I've got a ways to go. Can we walk around more at this? Check out things here. Yeah, looks really neat, right? Where's that bedroom at? How do you get to the bedroom? Is it down here? Oh, uh, there we go. Oh, there's the bedrooms. I don't know what that says, but it's cool. I've got a little medical bay and a naked woman behind a newspaper, I think. Maybe? I don't know. All right, let's go back up because I think we're getting close to, I don't know, a thousand feet, a thousand meters. I don't know what this does, but uh, yeah, we're getting close to the ground, I think. What are we at? 900. What'd I tell you? I wonder what leap maneuver does. I'm not going to touch that right now. Okay, we should probably... Oh! Oh, I didn't mean to hit that. Crap, I hit the wrong button. I don't know what that did, but... I hit it. Okay, let's do... Okay, so it stopped me right away. Okay, I just wanted to see if we could stop if we got too far down. Alright, here we go. Okay, we're close. 
Alright. Cool. Okay. I'm gonna take it easy on the controls here. Uh-oh. Is that... I can hit the scope. Oh. Wait, 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 wait. Don't have as an easy way to, like... Oh, boy, wait, wait. Hold on. We'll just... We'll just do this. Oh, you're hitting the submarine. Go back. There you go. Okay, so the question is, can I... Can I do this? Maybe I'm doing it wrong. Maybe I should... Maybe I should put that thing up first. Okay, hold on. Okay. Alright, okay. Okay, hold on. Hold on. We got this. Just a matter of maneuvering. Do it this way. I think we're tall enough that we could just go... Right over the... Okay. What I don't have is a... Uh, strafing movement. That would be a nice add-on. Just to be able to strafe it a little bit. Because now I have to, like, back up. Then use my yaw. So, feature request. <laughs> feature request for the dummy. Uh, strafing movement would be nice. Boy, without third person, I would be so screwed. Well, even with third person, I'm kind of screwed. But still... This makes a lot better. Okay, there we go. Oh, this is easy. This is good. Easy. Good. I feel like that's pretty good. I'm going to set it down. I don't even care if I land on it, just so I have my stuff right where I need it. This is not the way to do this, just in case you're wondering. Okay, that's good enough for me. Let's go ahead and see if we can grab. Ugh, grab. 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 All right, woo! Okay, which side is this? That's this side. Boom, okay. Now I'm in trouble. Okay, what we need to do now, we'll take the ladder. We'll take the ladder, yeah, we'll take the ladder. Nope, nope, we'll take the elevator. We'll take the elevator. Okay. And go up. All right, so what we need to do here is perhaps lower? Lower this? Oh, that's, that's, yeah, that's it. Okay, cool. So now I can reach this. Well, jumpy. And now. And, uh, okay, how about, and, um, um, there's no ladder. If I fly, I think it lets go, right? Let me see. Oh, well, it's okay. I still have it on me. Okay, well, let's just do this. Boom. Jump. Jump. Boom. All right. Woo. Okay. Uh, fly. Okay, this is not the right way to do it. I'm kind of cheating, but, you know, it'll work. All right. One more. On this side. That is really high. Can I... Uh-oh. This was not well thought out. What I'm going to do. Okay. Can I... We'll just fly. <laughs> That'll work. You can do it. Attach. Yeah. No. All right. Okay. Okay. First, do this side. Where's it at? I lost it. Okay. There it is. First, attach there. Then do this. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Awesome. Okay. Elevator. All right. Cool. Wait. Do I have to? Nah. I don't have to do that. Do I? Those wenches aren't gonna like stretch out forever, are they? What? Oh, I broke the elevator. Really? Okay, I don't know how to get up this. So, you, there's the ladder. Just like, turn into... Oh, yeah, turn and bounce. Okay. So, let's do this. Up. Uh-oh, it's stuck on the periscope. Okay. I mean, I'm sure it's fine. I'm sure it's fine. We're just going to go ahead and leave that there. Come up here and see if we can lift this up. I am so scared. But we're going to do it. We have this. We've got this. Okay. So, let's just go up a little bit. Slow. We don't want it to bounce. There we go. Look at that. Okay. So far, nothing's flying. Okay. Alright, let's go to 31. Uh-oh. Do we have enough power to lift this thing? Okay, let's go full-blown one. Boom! Okay, we need more power. I'm getting scared. Here we go. Oh, 
Oh, crap. What? That's so easy for this thing. This thing isn't even trying. Okay, wait a minute. Hold on. Hold on. Are we going up or down? We're going up still. Oh, crap. Okay. Wait, is it pulling it in? No. Okay, let's pull it in. Yes. That's what we shall do. So let's go ahead and... Oh, this is amazing. Okay, let's pull this in. Is that working? Oh, look! There's ropes! Right there! On top! I knew he had ropes somewhere. I knew it all the time. Okay. Apparently, this is not moving upwards. Is it? No. Okay, it's just too heavy. That's fine. That's, we just need to get this to the water. This is like our only job, really. So, let's get it to the water. We are Okay, let's get over the water, because I feel like I'm going to slam down into the ground on accident. So... Look at that. <laughs> this is amazing. I love this thing. I don't think I've flown anything like this in Stormworks before. Uh... It looks good. It it you know is lifting well. It's just a really neat build. Okay, watch this thing's gonna swing and like just flip me over. Don't flip me over. Okay. All right. So we're gonna do this. See what this does. Wow. Awesome. This is just awesome. Love it. It's amazing. It's creative. It's beautiful. One of these comments I got. Make sure you say it's creative and beautiful. It's creative and it's beautiful. Beautiful and creative. Okay, that's for the comment that was left on the last top five. Okay, there you go, buddy. Happy, happy day for you, okay? All right, let's go ahead and um, get down to the water and well, then we'll release it. Ooh, okay, here he goes. Here comes the splash. All right. And... Splash? Not yet. I'm not quite there. And there's a shadow. Splash. Okay. Quick, quick, quick. Let's just do that. All right, cool. Instead of jumping in the water. Splash. Wait, did I not put it all the way in the water? Oh, I suck so much. God. Okay, whatever. So we're just going to... Oh! Oh, dear! Okay. That was a good idea. Okay. <laughs> no one would ever hire me to deliver their submarine or anything else with a sky crane. It'd just be a bad idea. Okay, we're just cheating. Rope is too long? Wait, what? I've never heard that before. That's kind of interesting. Too long to detach. And this is only number five, people. I'm taking forever with this one. Okay, I don't think I'm able to get up here still. Cheating all over this thing. Okay, cheating, cheating, cheating. Okay, got it. Oh, there we go again. Woo! Oh, oh my gosh, can you imagine doing this in real life? Some dude jumping off the top of a floating thing in the air, and then you're like trying to unhook a rope. Yeah. Me neither. Can't picture it. Okay, so there we go. You gotta be ki- Boom, in the water we go. Oh my gosh, this is so much easier when you just lower it. I bet you guys are yelling at your screen again, right? I'm sure you were. That's okay, you can yell at your screen. I don't mind. Okay, so, uh, boop. And delete. And boop. And delete. Oh, come on, this is awesome. You gotta say that's awesome, right? Can I get on this ladder? Oh, awesome. Awesome! Oh my god, I love this build. That's how you do it, Dingleberry. You just go lower. Um, why am I stuck? I broke the elevator? I broke the elevator, everybody. I'm sorry. Whoa! Yes, okay, cool. So now we'll come back over here, and we'll just raise this. No? He won't raise? Why won't you raise? That's weird. It's like it's getting out of sync or something. Because it's supposed to like go up and connect. 
uh, whatever. Anyways, I think we did our job. I think that this is well done. And so we are going to go ahead and take off and leave the submarine to go do some convoy sinkings and say farewell to the submarine and say goodbye to this beautiful creative build by Pullnet called the Sky Harvest Salvage Airship, which comes into the weekly top five as number five. Let's get to number four. All right, coming into number four is the McLaren P1 by our friend and favorite builder of cars. Well, one of my favorite builder of cars, Slynn. And uh, he's got three that you can go. I think I like, do I like the yellow one? I think I like the yellow one. So let's check it out. Uh, of course, if you know who Slynn is, he makes marvelous sports cars. They usually run well. They usually have great controls. So let's see, shift is our speed. One is our e-brake. Follow mode. Oh, that's right. He can actually like follow somebody else if they're in front of you, which is kind of cool. And uh, yeah, manual mode. All right, let's go ahead and hit shift. Shift, shift. What am I doing wrong? How do I break the car? Oh, okay, wait, that's W. What, how am I not able to? Mm, okay, I'll look, the door is right there. Oh, wow, look at that. That's cool. Should have done that to get in, okay. Anyways. Oh, that's working. Okay. There we go. So this I guess this is automatic. And we're gonna top speed of Oh no. Never mind. Did I break anything? Oh I didn't. Okay, cool. Alright, so this is the uh whoa, automatic mode. You can hear it switching all over heck. Wow. <laughs> The clutch is going crazy. Okay. I might have broke something. I'm pretty sure I broke something. A clutch should not sound like that. Mm -mm. Let's take the red one out. All right. So if you turn on and just go, we can just go. All right. Cool. So there is a manual mode, I guess. So if I hit number five. Manual mode. My main gear. Okay. So that's confusing for me. So are those the gears right there in front of me? Because it looks like it's trying to go. Because I don't see where the gear, what gear I'm on, showing, right? And that must be like the RPMs that's showing right there, right? I guess. Yeah, that's a little confusing for me. I need to know what gear I'm in. I don't know what gear I'm in. But I guess you can just listen to it. But I kind of want to see what gear I'm in. All right. So that's that. E-brake is one. Okay, let's go ahead and put it back into auto. So see, it's shifting now. That must be RPMs, right? Must be. Must be like 5,000 RPMs right now, maybe? I don't know, I don't know! Anyways, this is the awesome McLaren P1, driven by Complete Fool, right here on the weekly top five. And you can download all of these so far that we've seen in the description below and check them out for yourself. Okie dokie, time to get to number three. All right, coming in at number three is the HTMA-5 Rattlesnake Saclos ATGM Carrier by Sebastis. And look at the detail on this. That looks really nice. Nice paint blocks, nice colors. I like the can, the gas can. Like that's a really, really nice gas can. I know, it's the simple things that I'm amazed by. Uh, this has weapons, of course. I don't... Okay. How was I supposed to know? Am I supposed to just look at the door and guess that? Oh, it's right there. I see it. Oh, gosh. Stormworks, please give us some paint block buttons. That would be amazing. Alright, so... Surely we can learn how to drive a truck. Out the door. Is this automatic? Oh, wait. No, it's not. Shift. I just stalled. Really? Is there a brake on? Really is parking brake. There we go. Okay. There we go. So, as you can see, very cool looking. And we're just going to park right here. 
And uh, turn off the ignition. I don't know if we need the battery on, so we'll just leave that on. Okay, there is a door somewhere, right? Wait, do I not? Extend wrap. Oh, okay, never mind. Let's read the directions. Enter the missile operator seat. Where is the missile operator seat? Is it this guy? I don't think it's this guy. Oh, yeah, it is. Okay. Press master arm. Done. Look at where you want to shoot with binoculars. Really? Oh, look, that thing's moving. Okay, um... That... that mm, I don't have anything to shoot at. Uh, that mountain right there. And then hit the space bar. Did it hit it? I can't see it too far. All right, let's do something simple. Like, um, I don't know, like right, right there, right there. Oh, wow, this is awesome. Okay, about the corner of that thing. No, she can't close. Can you hit that close? Damn close, okay, it's a little bit close. But over there, that whatever that is. Oh, are we out of missiles? We're out of missiles. <laughs> anyways, yeah, that's very cool. It would have been nice to have a target. But anyways, this is number three. You can download this in the description below. Of course, Sebastius makes weapons of all sorts. So if you like this, you should probably check the whole workshop out because there are some amazing builds. There's ships, there's uh, missile systems, there's parts that you can use for your own missile systems he released. There's even a tutorial on this channel, which I'll link above. Uh, for creating a missile. So if you're interested in that, check that out. Sebastian just came on and showed us how to do it. Uh, well, showed you how to do it. I still don't, I just don't know how to do it. So, yeah. But he does. So if you have any questions, uh, he gives uh, information on how to contact him. So, yeah, this is by Sebastian, and this is, again, the rattlesnake. So let's get to number two. All right, number two is something that I can't show you, okay? I can't show you number two because number two is a mod and mods are bad okay mods are bad they you don't want you don't want to put something from a third party on your system you know you don't want to do that no one no one uses mods you ever heard of fallout 4 people don't use mods for fallout 4 skyrim no mods are bad and i, I want you to know that because the whole dev team at geometa knows mods are bad you don't want to be using those you don't want to be talking to the modders you don't want to be doing anything with mods. So let me go ahead and jump into the editor and show you what this mod looks like. So this mod is by Vankoff and this is the Mizu Team Car Rims Pack. And let's check this out. Let's check these out. Uh, I'm just gonna grab, whoops, grab one of these here just to show you. I'm gonna make a really cool car right now. It's gonna be like, oops. Ah, no, want blocks. And we'll just grab another rim. I don't know. Maybe this cool star rim thing. Okay. And now, with these kind of things, Slynn's car can be very cool. Okay. And we can also, look at this. We can also, let's see. I think we can paint separate parts. I don't know how to paint it. Oh, I don't know how to paint it. What if I do, like, oh, you can paint the springs. That's cool. I don't know. Can you paint the rims? I think you can. I just don't know how to do it. Not too sure what I'm doing wrong. In the picture, you can paint the rims. Okay, so it's hard to paint, apparently. Or I'm just doing the wrong clicker. But anyways, you can uh, install this mod, and it will give you these cool tires. And, you know, we can push it. And they roll just like normal tires, even though they're modded. And I think we can probably go in and click the tire. And, you know, make bigger tires, just like the normal tires. Weird, right? so weird uh that you can do this like you know have a mod that adds a new block so dangerous though you know you don't want to be using these because mods are bad so something new that i'm not covering in this video is with the mod uh what's it called mod loader storm loader you can now subscribe to this on the workshop download storm loader once the mod has been installed from the workshop, you know, like you've, you know, downloaded a boat or something, you can go to Stormloader and there's a button 
sync Steam. And what that does is it will download whatever workshop download uses mods. It will go and find the mods for that build and download it. And then you can just go ahead and use it. So you don't have to search for what the mod's using. I'm gonna do another video on that just because it's hard to explain here. But I did wanna show you this mod. It really adds a lot to the game. Um, again, hopefully at some point the devs will decide to allow, uh, you know, custom blocks to be a a native feature so for right now you have to kind of download some mods and download storm loader and you know if your friends aren't using them they won't see them if you're on a server and they don't use them all that stuff because uh, they're not actually you know natively supported by the devs <sighs> old argument old conversation but uh mods are cool so check them out and uh, let's get to number one. All right, coming in at number one today is by Krimwand, and this is the K1 rescue helicopter. It's kind of, I don't know, it's kind of cute. I feel like it's like a, like a kid's, like toy, like a, you know, like what are those pound puppies? Not not pound puppies. What are those things called? Uh, Paw Patrol. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My kid used to like Paw Patrol. I feel like this is like a Paw Patrol vehicle. Whoa! I was expecting that. It's <laughs> kind of cool. What, why do you keep opening and shutting? Oh, player sensor. Okay. I don't know what I'm doing, but it's still fun. Now how do I shut this? Okay, I'm so confused by this thing. Okay, so I hit that. It pops it all the way up, which is interesting. I guess that's if you're flying and you like want to like grab onto it and then this thing brings it back down i feel like shouldn't this one like flop out too okay i'm gonna hit this one again okay i'm gonna just <laughs> go inside because it really wants me to go inside auto opens with winch okay oh you know what you have some bouncing i wonder if this is a physics thing okay let's put physics in high okay that's a bit better okay Okay, still doesn't uh, open all the way. I'm pretty sure that flops out. Okay, well, let's try it. Wait, where do I drive it? Oh, okay. That's cute. Okay. Let's see. All right. How hard can this be? It's a Kremlin build, right? Kremlin's good, right? What's the door do? Oh, oh, that's that door. Okay, cool. Let's leave the door open. I feel like I want to get out of here. Let's see. AP, autopilot, probably, generator, propeller. Oh, it's got a water sprayer. That's cool. I hear clutch going. Okay. <laughs> this is cute. I don't know what it is, but it's cute. Okay, can I go forward? Fan, full stop is space. Power up the fan is one. Ooh, okay. Okay. We're just going to get out of here first before we break something. Okay. Is that all the buttons you use? It's just number one. Hit number one again. Number one again. Oh! Uh oh All right. Mistakes were made. I'm just not sure what mistake I made. But maybe I should do number one. Oh, look. Fan power. Okay, I see that. Alright, fan power again. What's that at? 16%. Okay, now do I just hit shift to go up? Ah, I hit shift to go up. Okay. There we go. So that our power is fine. We don't need a lot of power to get going. Okay, let's do um, number three. That thing still will not go down. I'm confused by that that one okay let's go let's go down there where's the door where's the door no no not the bed door oh okay so it says with the wench with the wench where's the wench key I know I'm not using directions I just want to try this 
Wait, is it when I get on the winch? No. Where's the winch controller? Am I blind? What is this? Winch down. Winch up. Oh, crap! <laughs> okay. Where'd it go? Um, where am I at? Okay, can I get inside now? Okay, we're inside. <laughs> okay. So, <laughs> what do I do? Um, number three, ramp? Okay. But if I go down there, am I gonna... No, I'm gonna, not gonna fall out. Okay. Oh, I broke it. Oh, let's do a winch up. <laughs> okay. Whoa! Uh-oh. Quick, in the bed. Okay, we're okay. We're okay. <laughs> I broke this. Oh. Yeah. I broke this. Okay, so before we say goodbye to this, I just want to tell you a little bit more about it because there are some cool features. It does have a a autopilot avoidance system. Uh, I probably, I'm guessing it's using the same one as a boat that we looked at last week. It has uh, additional fuel tanks for long distance. What else? It uh, can transport small boats by attaching them to the harness. That's interesting. Yeah, you can fill it with water as well. Okay. So anyways, the only thing I am confused about is this. This one thing I don't understand. Like, how do we get this thing to come down and do whatever it's supposed to do? I don't know. But anyways, this has been the K-1 Rescue Helicopter by Krim-1, and you can download it in the description below, as well as all the other builds today, and uh, enjoy them. This is pretty awesome. I like this one. Uh, I wish I had another person to play with, but today I'm running solo. So until next time, thanks for watching. And I will see you next time, which means I said next time twice. So don't forget to go ahead and hit subscribe, hit like, hit the bell so it goes ding dong when I upload a video. And I'll see you next time yet again, because next time is my favorite word to say today. So see you next time.